everybody, welcome back to the Bourbon Note. I'm Greg. I'm Ben. And today, we're drinking bourbon. All right, Ben, this bourbon that we're drinking, uh -huh. what is it and where is it? Well, we've got it right here. It's Bam Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. New one for us. We have never had this brand. We've Yeah, we've never not only had the cigar blend, but we've never had a Joseph Magnus. And I don't know a damn thing about this stuff, to be perfectly honest. Totally agree. Like, I've always been curious, but they tend to run on the expensive side. Yes. We're lucky enough to score a bottle of this on our recent bourbon hunting video at Spirits Liquor, so check that out if you're interested. Um, but this is kind of the, the crown jewel of the Joseph Magnus, if I'm Hopefully, correct. Well, maybe there's more crowny, but that's Right, but the I mean, this, this seems to be of. the sought after one. Yes. It's and kind of expensive. $225. Yeah. Yep. Finished in Armagnac. Is that how you say Sherry and cognac cast. So it's like a three, a triple banger of finishing. So Finishing, yep. That tends to be the trend with cigar blends. There's at least a cognac and whatever that Armagnac or yeah, whatever it is. It seems is. like cognac was the idea of finishing whiskey in cognac casks. I mean, I don't know when they did this because it took a while to age. Yeah. But a bunch of people tried it. Um, cognac cask cigar blends are seem to be popular. We did have another one that we thought was great. Yes. And so we may visit, revisit that one at the end. Yeah, sure. Why but not? But we want to give this a chance. Sure. So, uh, but we don't know anything about distillery, like age and, you know, what they're yeah, doing. Yeah, I don't but. think it says anything on here yeah. about that. 119.48. This is batch number, um, what does it say? 187. 187. So it's a yep. little higher. So for those playing along at home, if you have that one. Yeah. And I don't know, is this from a Kentucky? Oh, it's got a great nose on it. Yeah, I can't read. Chocolate, oak. I mean, you're getting a, a really nice oak note. I mean, it's three separate finishing cast, so you're gonna have that. It's very nice, very um, warm and um, spice, like a nice inviting spice. Dark and rich. If this cigar blend, as I'm assuming, it's supposed to complement the cigar really nicely and that's Supposedly. what they're going for, yep. um, I could definitely see that. It's got sure. like a nice earthy leather kind of yeah, workshop kind of vibe going, so I'm going for it. Cheers. It's very nice. Let me get another sip here. I'm having an interesting experience with this one. It, like it hints at it, it's gonna be nice and chocolatey, mm -hmm. but the chocolate kind of fades. And I, I mean, it's got a ton of other flavors, but it doesn't really turn into chocolate. Like it's on the initial hit. Yeah. But it doesn't, it's not actually chocolate. It's got a nice mouthfeel. Some density, not crazy dense. It's got a hell of a bite to it. It does. It's an aggressive kind of sharp. It's a, almost like a red pepper burn, I think. A little black pepper as well. That's crazy. It's red, totally red. But yeah, it's got, I mean, it's got, I feel like it has some fairly kind of standard bourbon notes. Hey. And um, well balanced but it has that dark density to it. Like you said, almost kind of like the leathery. There's a little mm -hmm. bit of that on the palate as well. Mm -hmm. The proof really comes through. I mean, there's no mistaking this is about 120 proof. If, if I wasn't careful, and I know that cognac is actually, it's from the cognac region of France. And it's a brandy, It's a brandy, right? like a great. wine finished. I am getting a little bit of wine finish. Like it, it, it's almost kind of... Well, pork. there's sherry in there as well. Yeah. And I don't know what the hell Armagnac is, or what is it called? I think Armagnac. it's another... <laughs> Excuse yeah. me. It's a, it's a liqueur thing, but 
Okay. It, it could be another grape. So I'm definitely getting a little bit of just grape, kind of like wine finished, which technically it is. A little more of this because we got the, I think we got to do the comparison. I think so. Because, and here's why. We're looking at about 220 bucks for this, 225, whatever it is. Yes. And, and that seems to be standard. And it's it's definitely in the like MSRP unicorn type. Yeah. I don't know if it's going for crazy secondary prices, but yeah, no I mean, idea. if it's already you know selling for a couple hundred bucks yeah. just as a general price, I'm guessing there's some. Uh, oh, there's some markup. There's some definitely one, some markup, but, price gouging. Yeah. So here's what we want to compare this to. We have one other cigar blend bourbon on the bar here. This is uh, we've done a review of this, so if you're interested, go check it out. This is Storytime Distilleries Friday at Fred's. Um, it's a Jepson's store pick or a Jepson's bourbon from MGP picked by Storytime Distillery. So Storytime Distillery is a online club, essentially. And kind Shane- Kind of, yeah, a non-producing distillery. Yep, so Shane, uh, he's a friend of the channel, um, sold this to us at MSRP. Um, no, we just ordered it off the website. Well, yeah, I mean, and so it's $60 or so for this one, I think. Sometimes he has a deal 60, where- 60, 65. Yeah, yep. something like that. Um, and we really, really liked it. So to, to get bottles from Storytime, you have to be a member. It's 10 bucks a month or 100 bucks for the year. Totally worth it. We've had three really great bourbons and yes. you can only get them from there. So. Yeah, he's doing really interesting stuff with how he produces his whiskey. Well, he doesn't produce it, but well, he picks yeah. the barrels. Yeah. So this is a cognac finish. Yes. Um, and it, yeah, it just has cognac finish. So it doesn't have the other two. Uh, 120.52, so we're pretty close in. Um, yep. Proof, and this one is age stated at six and a half years. Okay. And it's fantastic. We both love it right off the bat because okay. we've already done a review. Still on this one, Joseph Magnus. Oh boy. <sighs> I've got thoughts. Okay. Just on the nose alone, I've got thoughts. Okay. Some similarities. Yeah, <laughs> these are very similar. They're, um, they're in the same family. So I'm not gonna say anything until we yeah. until we do the well, palette here. So I'm gonna get a little bit of water before going into the story time one. I'm going into the story time. Cheers. Just outstanding. Um, <laughs> now I'm going no water now. Oh. I'm gonna go back and forth and really just see. Okay. I may have poured too much. That's, That's Friday. It's Friday at Fred's. Hey yo. Last review of the day. You know, side note for those in really like tracking what we wear. But um, <laughs> we do film a couple. We do film a, a couple, row. and um, today has truly been the greatest whiskey day. <laughs> it's been ever. a good one. It's been a good one. Yeah. Um, okay, I am prepared to make a statement here. These two are darn close. They're, I, if you mix these around, I don't think I could tell you which one is which. So this one has a little bit better density. This one has a vanilla note that's subtle, but they are so close. It's hard to justify four times the price or three. That's and a half what I was just gonna say. Here's where they're not close is the price. Now, yeah. full disclosure on a couple of things here. I have heard from people that we know and respect previously that this is, uh, story time is absolutely a contender and competes all day long with Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Yes, Bobby from Bad Axe Bourbon picked this as number two against three other indi yeah. individual batches. Yep. This was second out of. Three of these and one of this. Yeah, I think it was, yeah, three of these. Yeah. Um, heard from some other people that have reviewed it. Yep. Um, and so that's actually why we were excited to get a hold of the, the yeah. story time pick originally. Now that we have a bottle of this, I 100% agree. And the other full disclosure thing is, is as you mentioned, you know, we kind of know Shane a little bit from chatting. Just, I mean, chatting we're not, publicly, like, yeah, like nothing. Yeah, we're not involved with his yeah. operation or anything, but I am 100% prepared to say that this is just as good as this. Or this is way underpriced. Yeah. Or this is, I'm more prepared to say that the Joseph Magus is way overpriced. It, it could be a little bit ballooned. You know what this, no, nah, I won't go there. There's another brand, totally different brand, 
that got kind of like popular a few years ago because it won bourbon whiskey of the year for, mm -hmm. for no good reason. Um, and the price quadrupled, but it was yep. a pretty low price to it. <laughs> but then you bought, and I'm talking about, um, do you have one? Mm -hmm. uh, right there, Henry McKenna. So you picked up a basic Henry McKenna. Yep. But we think that is a great whiskey. Yes, the price went up a ton because of the bottle bond. Basic, you mean the, the regular Henry yeah. McKenna 10 year bottle, bottle bond. bond. Yeah. It's really good. We like it. You picked up a basic Henry McKenna and it was a letdown. Oh, of course. It was terrible. It's like, yeah, it's down here. <laughs> so somewhere. I'm wondering $12. what basic Joseph Magnus is. But the thing is, is though, is the, the regular yeah. Henry McKenna is a $12 bottle. Yeah, yeah. It's not aged very long. It's yeah. 80 proof. Yep. So it's not really comparable. Um, I'm trying to pinpoint the difference between these two. There is a very subtle difference. It is. And I would say it does kind of come down to the viscosity, like you had mm -hmm. said. A little bit more of a graham cracker note on this one. I think so. But it's very, very subtle and you'd have to work for it. Yeah. And at three and a half times the price. And this literally, I would have bought it any time within the last two years if I saw it now. I've only seen it once. And I think, you know, us visiting a store that we like helped so <laughs> there is an interesting note on the story time one that i can't quite put my finger it's on. a little bit more grapey it feel like it's, that might it's be a it. little bit of like a purple grape like, yeah oh yeah kind of if you're into the kool-aid <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> um yeah so if you in the, again we do not have a financial stake in story time but you know credit not where, yet <laughs> credit where credit is due I would recommend this because if you can't find the Joseph Magnus, which most people can't. I think can, most people can't. This is so incredibly just in the same lane, just as good, and it's $65. It costs you a $10 a month membership, but you then you get access to all these other ones that we've had have, yeah. that have been great. We, we're not going to go through selling how great Storytime is again, but I think we recently were chatting with him on a live stream. It's totally public. Yep. He confirmed he has like five cases of that left still. I don't know if it's five, but it was a couple. It was a he couple got, of yeah. cases. So totally check them out. Storytimedistillery.com. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this, I mean, these are both fantastic. So to get back to the Joseph Magnus, it's a great bourbon. It's overpriced. I, yeah, I totally agree. Like, I really like it. It's going to go on the top shelf and it's, I'm going to occasionally, um, have a pour of it mm -hmm. and it competes with the other top shelf bourbons that you only want to visit occasionally just because you don't want to run out because you know you can't replace it. Yep. However. Well, I think it just turns out that uh, cognac finished MGP six I, and a half years old is also fantastic. Well, and that's and my, won't break the bank. So yeah, maybe we should. Uh, that's kind of our thing on the on the um, reviews is we don't do a ton of research, but maybe this is maybe they're really close to the same juice. Yeah, who knows? I don't um, know if they distill their own or who knows. Yeah, because we uh, we said at the beginning, we don't really know much about mm. Joseph Magnus as a brand. Right. Um, but that being said, it's a great bottle it's, of bourbon. It's very, very for good. For sure. Yeah. I just think that the, the couple hundred bucks for it, I mean, it comes down to what we say a lot of times when you get a, an expensive bourbon. There's so many other options. Even take the... Take the story time away and the reason we want to compare these is because of the cognac finish they're both cigar blends that yep. are you know at least have the cognac in common but you put like a regular knob creek single barrel up against the joseph mm -hmm. magnus it's going to hold its own mm -hmm. you know there are plenty of other ones in the 120 proof range that i think are every bit as good as this but if you want something that's in the same lane as cigar batch that one right there is i, I agree is a solid option so all right, well, this has been Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, batch number 187. On the Bourbon Note, I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Until next time.
Wait, aren't you forgetting something? Wait a minute, time out. What? Back up the cart. We have standards on this channel. What? We gotta do it. We've oh, done that's it. that's right. We have done it on every previous review. We're, we, you know, the one time we forgot to do it is when I got back from vacation. Now we haven't been in the bar in a while. Oh, and okay. Done. Okay, so, sorry, hold on. We forgot to do the blend, which is kind of a staple on this channel. So we do need to blend them. So, do you know what I think this is going to taste like? I think it's going to taste so exactly like. the same as both of these bourbons because they're so close. <laughs> they're so close to the same thing. I'm glad you caught that. We've only forgotten to do that on one other video, and so now it's two. Uh, yeah, it's fantastic. You know what? Bring in a little zebra cake. There's a little zebra cake to the blend. Really? Mm -hmm. Not getting that. And I recently had a zebra cake. We had a conversation about zebra cakes very recently. <laughs> mm -hmm. And um, so I picked one up. Well, I picked up a box because they sell them in boxes. Um, not getting that. Because zebra cakes have a very <laughs> off-putting plastic note, which is not a good YouTube channel, by for, the way. For me, it's not that. Mm. I get what you mean about the waxiness or whatever. Yeah. For me, it's the artificial yellow cake oh. is what I get. Oh, it's the frosting. And, and the white frosting. The artificial frosting that, like, that initial, like, hit of flavor is, mm -hmm. like, nothing. And then it then it gets, like, totally artificial and good and it's fine. You need to get some zebra cakes. And just, some. like, do, like, a... Do you have some right I, now? I just okay. picked some up. I also picked up uh, the Cosmic Brownie. Should we go there? You were going off about this the other day. I mean, this is more live stream stuff. I mean, if okay. people are still watching yeah, if now. If you're still watching, you're At this totally point, the video has already ended and we've yeah. come back with the blend. So okay. just, just consider this bonus content. So literally, <laughs> so I don't know if the Cosmic Brownie used to be sold because it feels like same density texture, but it didn't have the little dots, the little cosmic thing. Okay. It was, but the, maybe the same brownie. So maybe it was little <laughs> Debbie. Is it's, this the one you were going off about in the yeah, live stream the other night? Years you, ago. Years ago, yeah. It was so good. It's it's the same as the Cosmic Brownie, like identical, without the dots on So if you just pull the dots off, yep. is it like nostalgia? Yeah, it's like okay. really, really good. It's like a cake, but then the top is almost like frosted, like but it's brownie-ish, and I don't mm. know, it's really good. Anyway, back to the bourbon. Amazing. It, yeah. At this point, I'm almost prepared to say this is very MGP-like, that's been finished in cognac and armor rack. Can't, uh, <laughs> Casks, and maybe a little bit of the, what do you call the Sherry, sherry casks cask as, well. cask as well. Just a little, little, you know, jelly, peanut butter and jelly. And then Are you getting nice. a little peanut butter and jelly off I'm of definitely that? getting the grape. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, this I is, like this a ton. The blend is great, but it, it doesn't taste too much different than the two of them on their own. If this was, and it probably should be around $100, $125, it's special, it's good, it's very nice. I honestly think Shane could charge a little bit more. Yeah, his. and especially since he's got a smaller operation, but at the same time, I'm glad he's not. You know, mm -hmm. he's a bourbon guy, and you yeah. know, he's set on different live streams talking about what he's trying to do. Is you know, he's he's a little more community minded, kind yeah, of like totally. the rest of the channels are, and that's what I think is so cool about. Yep, what Storytime is doing. So, totally agree. Yeah, again, that's just it's interesting when you compare, like you said, it's like what three and a half times the price, and you compare two. Yep, and there is just I don't think there's a. And fifteen dollar price difference. It's, it's in hard this. to find. Uh, they are that close together. I mean, this one at sixty five. Oh, you, you totally ruined my. If, yeah, they are that bam. Close They're that together. close together. <laughs> um, this one at sixty five. If this one was seventy five, having tasted both of them now, I don't know that I'd pay an extra. I mean, I might just get. I'd buy them both because I'm a collector. But yeah, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I mean, we have a channel and we kind of. If have I'm to buying do this. just based on flavor, I mean, I don't know. I kind of agree. And I like the black plastic screw top on this one. This one splatters. Every time you pull the cork out, I notice it, it's weird artificial corks. Or I don't notice that normally, though, but whatever. Yeah. Anyway, well, I think we can probably... People are enjoying this. You know, there's an old elk cigar blend that I'm really thinking about. Yeah? Well, I knew where there was a bunch of those. Two weeks ago, but I don't know if they're still there. Mm -hmm. You should text her and ask. I did... No, that was the Infinity Blend up at Oh Spirits. No, they also had Cigar Blend, I think. Oh, I didn't oh, see no. that. Oh, no. Maybe it was Total Wine that had the Cigar Blend. Yeah, and there was another one I, in a bourbon hunting video that I did. But it was $115, and I thought that was too much. <laughs> That's yeah. the thing. It's just, it's the price on these things. But is the Old Elk Cigar Blend, is that a weeder? Yes. Okay, so that might make it different. Are you sure it's a weeder? 
Because I think a lot of old oh, elk some stuff old elk, is. You're right. Old, some but I don't, old elk is not I don't know meter. if all of it is, so yeah, I don't know what don't that one is. No. But yeah, I, I think I'm going to have to order another bottle of this for the for the 65 bucks. I just got one, and I got that Poor Night Rises, which yeah. we did a review of, and everything story time has done is great. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to what they're doing next. At this point, we're kind of in like hidden track mode. Oh, like, yeah, totally. Maybe you instead think of so? just cutting it and having you come back in and say, wait a minute, we forgot, maybe I'll just cut it and just let no, like no, no. a minute or two of well, you silence. Have, you have to tell people. <laughs> no, you, you don't want... Because nobody watches, and all the kids today, they don't know there's such thing as a hidden track. That's the point. But nobody who watches our channel, I don't know if you've noticed the age range of our channel, but it's mostly dudes about our age. You we, know? We have to drop a hint that there's I a hidden think, trail. Yeah, I think we need to drop a hint. Here's why we don't drop the hint. is because we let it go, and then we see how many people comment, hey, you didn't do the blend. It's like, or did we? <laughs> All right. Ride or die. I see. Do you that. stick till the end and watch all the Patreon names? And then, all wait a minute, right. this video's not ending. What's going on with this? You know? You know, that's funny because I watched a YouTube video the other day, which clearly came to an end. <coughs> and I noticed the old tracking bar it was halfway. And I thought, he keeps going with something. Right, that's what I'm saying. And he did. He truly went like off the rails in a totally different direction. Yeah, I think that's what, that's what you should do with this video. Okay. Because right. the first time we did the hidden track thing, you gave it away in the video and said there's a hidden track. But, well, yeah, now, we, we hinted that now there's going to be... Now we can truly, be, okay, since, truly go hidden since track. Since I didn't have an opportunity to... Yeah, uh, exactly. All right. Anyway, speaking of off the rails, yeah, this we has should, been... We should probably call it. Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend Which with is, a little uh, guest appearance by Friday at Fred's Storytime Distillery, Jepson's Bourbon uh, Cigar Blend on the Bourbon Note. I'm Ben. I'm Greg. Till next time. I think this time I do it. See you next time. <laughs>